I went to an acting class when I was like nine, maybe, maybe, you know, eight or something. Because I was very shy, and a friend of ours suggested uh, my parents take me to an acting class because he saw that I was really shy but really animated by myself. You know, I was very lucky when I was 10, I worked with Albert Finney on a film called Delivering Milo. But the biggest, biggest thing that was, that was I think, quite significant and kind of affected me profoundly was, was doing the film Hearts in Atlantis with Anthony Hopkins. And Scott was, Scott Hicks was so instrumental in sort of guiding me and, and guiding my own emotional like journey and exploring certain kinds of emotions and so that was really the first time that things kind of opened up for me. After a certain age things just got to be a lot more serious and a lot more emotionally taxing. Something happened kind of after Alpha Dog where it was like I really consciously, 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 consciously started working on characters more than I had before because I'd always map out characters and I'd map out obviously how they were doing emotionally but then Specifically with Charlie Bartlett, I was like, all right, this job is about creating characters, you know, and exploring characters and figuring them out. Um, I think more consciously than I had realized before. I'm just a kid. I really had to sit down and I watched a lot of the old show and really pick and choose what I thought mm -hmm. was necessary. And for me, I think the most important thing was to capture that spirit of Chekhov, mm -hmm. you know? Because he was always this sort of weird comedic relief and, mm -hmm. and, and and, and, and really funny and, and strange, you know, and that was something that I wanted to bring to this character, you know, regardless of what he does in the script, that, that spirit. Part of my job is mapping everything out, you know, and so I would send extensive and really obnoxious notes to Jeremy, not like notes on the script, but notes that I've gotten. Obnoxious. <laughs> I, just, oh, I, was, I was aware that they were like, I was like, all right, I know this dude's busy, but here's five pages of like, but they were, they were just notes of what I thought like, this scene, this is what Pat's going through. Because I need to know that stuff so I can come to work every day and build everything. Um, but specifically, of course, the emotional journey that Felicity and I went on, uh, I, it was unlike any other experience because we never left these characters, you know? We just stayed in that world. I think to the point where I've made mistakes, where I've gone into meetings with people and just been like, okay, I'm gonna gamble on this and say I like this character more than the other. You know, and sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, and I just love the idea that, okay, this is a challenge. Like, how do I do this? How do I accomplish this? How do I embody this physically and emotionally, you know? Let there be music and let there be thrills. You don't like the silence and you never will. So jump on the ride, you can feel it inside. Won't you come with us? Anton's a, a wunderkind. Frankly, I, I feel he may be superhuman. He's 18 uh, to be so young and to possess such an awareness of humanity and psychology. He's a very, very bright kid. He knows every fact about every subject. He speaks, I don't know how many languages this, this kid speaks, but he's a, he's a genius. It was great. It was, it was boring. It was... <laughs> Put on the blue, I mean yellow. <laughs> no, it was we really we got along really really well. And honestly, it was you start to like. There was one point I was, I was sitting there and I was like, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I can't listen to these guys anymore. And then it's like action. You're like. Ah! You know, <laughs> Don't yes. touch me. Yes Jacob, or no? Don't touch Did you sleep with him? Yes or no? If things are so bad, if things are so bad, and you move through it, and you go through it, and you live through it, then everything should just be good. It should just be good. As humans, we are all faced with the ephemeral. You know, and what happens when you're not? And how do you feel about humanity then? And, uh, you know, and I, I'm lucky. I'm very grateful for using all the work that I've done. I'm able to play very different characters, you know. Tommy.
That's sort of the guiding fact, factor of, of how I, I look at things, is how many different people can I play and how different can I make them every time. All the people I meet, all the smiles and the memories, they're a part of 